The headline reads, Chelsea versus PSG illustrated why referees must have video replay technology. We're going to go into that, but first, joined by Pablo Alcina and JL Jackson. This is the first time that the two most handsome TYT <laughs> workers have actually been on the same clip. Hey, why is it taking so long? We're about to break the internet. Yeah, we have yes. to break the internet here. So, uh, Chelsea versus PSG, a, a fantastic spectacle for the UEFA Champions League, has been overshadowed perhaps by, uh, uh, by Zlatan Ibrahimovic's red card. I know we differ on the uh, opinion of what, whether it should have been a red card or not. A lot of people out there agree that it was a little harsh um, but Pablo I know you have your own perspective what do you think my perspective on that play if you've seen it don't put in slow motion roll it slowly and then decide watch it in regular speed that is a textbook red card Slatan leaves his feet goes at the player there wasn't contact but it was intent if Oscar runs straight his legs are broken to me that is a clear clear red card but I defer with you on something else Francis did you notice how quickly he said the two best looking guys <laughs> on I'm sure he was talking about these two right here that's I mean, that's what you, you gotta agree. be talking you about got me there. land flavor got yes. the man over here well, you got it you, know. you got it you got it there so I, I clearly I stated yesterday on my recap I don't want to get into it too much I clearly stated that it was uh, definitely not a red card. And for your opinion, you get a red card right oh. here for this. I've got it out oh. here, my own red card. So for Pablo, he, he goes in, he pulls out already. The intent may be, may be there. He pulls out when he knows that he's not going to get the ball. It's a late tackle. Textbook refereeing decision is late tackle. No intent to really hurt the player. Yellow card. So uh, Zlatan, unfortunately, will miss the next game. But we want to talk with JR as well because this has actually proposed this new idea that they want to include instant replay technology to, foot, uh, to soccer, my football, uh, to try and help referees make these decisions. In American football, how much does instant replays influence the game? It does a lot. I mean, it, it comes to the point where everyone's not calling for it. You know, you have the, a chance for the coaches. They have a certain amount of challenges, and they want to call certain things if a play happened a certain way. Now, the coaches can't initiate the type of challenges to be like, well, that's a personal foul. Did you see that? Yeah. You know? How did you miss that punch? Yeah. Now, this is all initiated by referees, uh, the, the booths up in the top, and then they actually look at the closely after, say, a brawl breaks out, and they see who really did what. Okay. And then they assess all the situations later. And also, after the fact, you know, if they need to suspend someone from a game or two because of certain kind of punches that were thrown that weren't, weren't seen by the refs, they do that all afterwards. So, I mean, I don't know if it's a retroactive thing they can do uh, in your football where they can look at it later, the officials back in the headquarters can check it out and be like, we saw this game, they didn't give him the sufficient punishment then, maybe you can get it later. Yeah, well that's a, and that's a good point. That's something that well, they, they do that. They do that for they fouls. They do that for yeah, fouls yeah. and they do it for off the ball instances. Sometimes they will rescind the red card and they'll be like, all right, it, there wasn't the intent there. In this case, they've already come out and said that they're not going to rescind Latan's red card, so he will because be Because it's a red card, He will be suspended Francis. for the it's next round. It's a red round. card. You yeah, I can it. feel the internet burning. People are protect, already upset about this. You There's have no to way. protect your players. Nah. If you allow... Uh, Chelsea for, protected uh, their player. All the players swarmed the referee like bees around honey before he could even get his red card out. And that's a decision that had to be made for the referee in the time. Do you want replay in soccer? I, I, if, as long as it didn't hinder the flow of the game so much. And that's what I was going to go back to JR on. How much that's does it slow game. down the game? Well, the game's already four uh, exactly. and a half hours long. When you're talking <laughs> Wait, that's something, yeah. And, and, and both, I was thinking that about... And now NBA, about, they're doing it so much. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then they're, they're, trying to make it, they're trying to make it efficient. I'm basically, I'm mostly on board for all the kinds of replays as long as they find a way put to a make it efficient. On it. I mean, it's, it's, it's put been, it's been put in baseball and baseball is the longest sport of all of them. Yeah. You know, and has the most stagnant and stoppages of play of all of these sports. Yeah. But so when it comes Thing. I mean, this is coming from the outside of view of I watch soccer during World Cups. Yes. Men's and women's. That's when I watch the most soccer. Yeah. And then in seeing it, it's it's a flow game, but it does have a lot of pauses. Yeah. I mean, and of course they're trying to take care of guys or take care of the problem of guys that automatically stall or that but purposely they... fall and grab a leg and right. they need a rest or they need a you know, something yeah. happens where they know they need to change the flow of this game. And maybe they're addressing that, but there already are stoppages. Yeah. But they stop for 10 seconds. Yeah. NBA players, there's a TV timeout every three minutes. Mm. You don't see the players resting because it's in a commercial timeout. In soccer, yeah, the player goes down, he's going to take 10 seconds to stand up. That's a lot shorter than a TV timeout. Stop saying that soccer, there's lots of pauses. <laughs> it's a 90-minute game. It's played in maybe, maybe Two hours tops, yeah, and that's if they're if, uh, uh, severe injury. Scott, give me a break. Yeah, yeah. Soccer is the game. I mean, baby. we get stretchers coming out. We, I game. mean, I mean, there's there's the people who like, and I, I'm not in the camp, but the people who complain about soccer and say these guys flop so much just so they can get a stretcher come out and they roll around and win some pain. <laughs> and and even, then, how long does that take? One minute. I mean, the, the NBA pi TV timeout. The pitch three is minutes. about the size of like four football fields. So <laughs> then they have to get the stretchers out there. And then they they it's the time they go over there. It's already been a commercial. All the time. Yeah. So. Offensive lineman grabs his knee. And I think the mentality of football players is 
Don't show that you're hurt. I mean, it's a different mentality. When their yeah. leg is broken, they still hobble off the field. Like, lay down, motherfucker. You're hurt. Yeah, there's, you know? there's, there is some players that, like, there's Hold some players. Yeah. You, <laughs> you've got to know. The MF word, baby. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you're no, allowed to right So, here. um... <laughs> But the, uh, the thing with football is, I agree, you need stoppages because you've, you've got so many players on the field to try and watch with and you've got so many, they're colliding at one time. On mm -hmm. soccer, you, you rarely will ha you have two or three players coming together at the one time, so it's hard for you to focus. The ball's there, it's usually one-on-one. -on -one. <clears throat> the referee can make the decision right there, right then based on his own perspective. But when it's a decision that influences a game as much as that should have, God forbid, PSG went through and I was so happy to see that, that it didn't, they weren't so wrongly put out. It, the referee should have to go back. Maybe the decision could be overturned. At the moment in time, if they limited it to maybe five or ten seconds the way they do now oh, with the yes. goal line technology, think, it shouldn't influence it I as much. I think instant replay should only come into effect on goals. Kind of like the NFL, they review every single touchdown. Mm -hmm. Same thing. You can't start having instant replay in soccer for every single hard foul. Because no, the I, play stops already. No, but, I, no, no, but for, for, yeah, for yeah. game change and red cards, they could. For games that would change, because red cards is more stoppages, right? Manager, if you look, the manager or coach should have an option, use it one time, a half, maybe like the NFL. Not, maybe not the managers. Or but maybe the, you want red cards and goals. I think red cards and goals are decisions or offsides, maybe. I, I, I don't know. It's hard to try and narrow it down, but red cards and goals is good. We already have the goal line technology. Right. But if the referee, at that moment in time, how long, if you watch it, it was about a minute to a minute 30 before Zlatan left the field. In that time, he could have had someone radio down like they do with the goal line technology. But who makes that decision? The referee makes because a decision. Because then you're going to the have the bigger clubs. Hey, by the way, we already think there's favoritism for the Manchester United, for the Real Madrid, for the Barcelonas. You mean to tell me now all of a sudden there's going to be another higher power? No, and he has to decide between Manchester United and Sheffield Wednesday, let's say. <laughs> Who do you think is going to get the benefit of the I think now? it should be the referee's no. discretion. If he thinks it's a clear red card, then he goes for it. If he's in the, the slightest doubt, he, rated, he, he goes up, he says, I'm not fully sure, can you give me a second opinion Who on makes this? That decision? There's someone up above with the cameras Who? that are like, look at it. Who's, another official, who's someone who's officiating. The, 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 you've Who got the third the line. Team? No, this is part of the referee in the, the situation, like the association that chooses it. But I guess if the question comes in whether or not it should, be, it, it should be involved in the game is how rampant is the problem of these types of dis disagreements about whether or not a red card is coming? Because there was a constant problem with Oh, was that a touchdown? Oh, his knee was down before, and so they had to they had to yeah. involve instant replay for NFL football because there was this many problems. I don't yeah. know how rampant this is. If it's rampant enough, maybe you consider. But if it's because it's one big egregious confrontation right now, yeah, maybe not. If it doesn't happen that often. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting subject. And uh, the Guardian they ran the whole article based on it. They believe that uh, this referee's decision was fully sculpted by the pressure <laughs> from Chelsea and their players crowding around them. And they think that the referee could have had an introduction of a measure to perhaps get a second they or third opinion. It and they said they still can't play the next game. Yeah, they Somebody reviewed it because it. They because, because opinion, it's in the rules though. But they decided to no. go with what the P did. He nah. said, "Baby, <laughs> Pablo Alcina's right. That was a red card, Francis." No, but yeah. <laughs> it's going Francis by the is, rules. So it's gone by the rules because unless it's a violent act, it's the referee angry, can't rescind nice. it. He's got, he's, he's got to go with his <laughs> initial decision. PSG now might go out in the next round because of this, and I'm going to come back. And you know what? Pablo's fault. He agreed with it. Yeah. Bring the red card. All right, well, guys, thanks very much for the discussion. We're looking forward to plenty of more discussions comparing uh, both sports. And final decision is it was definitely not a red card. <laughs>